Hello YouTube, my name is Janie. Um, I wanted to make a record video vinyl collection that I've seen a lot of people have been doing. Um, I recently started collecting, I haven't been collecting for a, a long time, but um, it's just that vinyls are very expensive, but I love the quality and sound of them and the artwork and you know, um, but yeah, so there's two ways I get it. I either get my favorite album from a while or um, I go to a show and get those records. Um, so yeah, so I'll just make two or three videos of my record collection um, and I'll probably do another one for record store day to see what I got because I have some, uh, a list of what I want um, and hopefully uh, when I hit up a bunch of record stores I can find them. Um, what else? Oh yeah, and excuse me for if I look kind of like wonky, it's because I just came from the gym, but then I was trying to get ready to go to a show, but it didn't happen. So yeah, I'll, um, I'll start, I guess. Okay, so, um, I'm just, I just grabbed, like, I went to my box vinyl and thing, and then I just grabbed a bunch of, um, vinyls, like the first seven of them. So they're not in order, they're not in sequential order of when I got them first, when I didn't. Um, they're not alphabetical, they're not genre, but, um, yeah. So the first one, actually this is the last one I got, I guess that's why it's in the front. But, um, I just got this off Amazon. Um, I thought it was a really good deal, I think it was like 12 bucks or something. So, and I think it's like a classic album from like the mid-2000s. So, yeah, so I got The Silence in Black and White uh, by Hawthorne Heights. Um, I've seen Hawthorne Heights before. To be honest, they didn't really impress me. They weren't, um, I don't know, just, I've seen a lot and yeah, they weren't like the best, but I do like this album a lot and I feel like a lot of people do like this album, although sometimes, you know, it might seem kind of too much, but yeah, so it comes, um, it's just a one, one LP one and it has the poster of Hawthorne Heights and lyrics. Um, I'm always conflicted what to do with posters. I don't know if I should like save them or just you know, store them. So, but for now I'm just storing them because um, I have a lot of posters. Me and my roommate have a lot of posters. So, there's no room for anymore. Um, and it's um, orange ish, yellowish um, vinyl um, with the picture inside of the little girl on one side. And, well, actually, they're just the girls uh, from the front cover. Um, so yeah, so that's that one. So I, I have the Let Live Fake History, um, and it has like Day 54, which is a really good song. Um, yeah, I've seen Let Live twice, um, a lot of people don't like him because of how crazy he is, he is um, uh, Jason Butler, but, um, I do, I think he's amazing, he's pretty cool pretty cool guy but um yeah so I got this at the show with uh, Taking Back Sunday recently in early March it's a two disc um the disc are just black so I don't want to show it to you guys but yeah it's a it's a cool one this is I, I haven't listened to Let Live profoundly to know like every song of them but just I just think they're pretty cool um so I have that one. I have this new newer band that I like, um, Frank Aero and the Celebration. Um, uh, many might know, I don't know how to pronounce his actual name, Frank Aero, Aero, Aero. Um, but yeah, um, so yeah, so he, after the band broke up, um, Gerard Way went to do his own thing and Frank went to do his own thing. Um, and I actually like Frank's better than Gerard Way's side pro I mean, in now individual solo projects. But, um, yeah, I, I think this book, vinyl is great. I just, yeah, it's, it's amazing. If you haven't listened to this album, Stomach X, it's great. Um, I recommend, uh, Weighted and, Weighted and, um, Joyriding, The Prettiest Girl, All I Want Is, they're all great. Um, this one, it's a yellow press, it's beautiful, um, and this I found, 
I'm like blanking out. I, I think, okay, I found it in San Francisco for sure. I think I found it in um, Amoeba. Um, yeah. And I think, it, I was really surprised that I found it there because I didn't expect Amoeba to carry this one, but yeah. So it was about 16 bucks, I think. Yeah. Oh, and the Let Live one was around 13 bucks. Um, this one, it's okay. I mean, I'm not, it's, it's the Asking Alexandria stand up and screen. I just got it because it was $11. Um, I'm not a huge Asking Alexandria fan. Um, I just, I do like some other songs, um, but they're just not something I would listen to every day. And I think this is just a black one. But I just thought I should get it because, um, some of my songs are pretty cool and for 11 bucks I was just like whatever and uh, this one I found in the Rasputin in Berkeley um, so I thought it was really random because I wouldn't think Berkeley would carry anything like this um, so yeah uh, okay, then I have three other ones I okay so I have um, Ed Sheeran's X album um, it's also a keyboard, and it has him here. Um, I'm a big Ed Sheeran fan. I love his voice, love his lyrics, um, love him in general. Um, I just love this drawing. This drawing is great. Um, but yeah, so this was actually a present for my uh, roommate for my birthday, um, and I almost died a little bit, but yeah, it's a great album, and, but I mean, I see the difference in his writing from now and then, I mean, then and now, um, but I still like it, so whatever. Um, next I have, this is one of the first ones I got, but, um, I just got it because, you know, uh, My Chemical Romance is one of my favorite bands, um, top five for sure, um, and yeah, it's their, um, like their greatest, I would, I guess great, oh yeah, greatest hits. Um, so I got this, it was really expensive, um, well I think it's expensive, I mean, it was 40 something bucks, uh, the reason I got it was that A, I'm never gonna, this was pretty cool in general just to have like a greatest hits whatever um but i didn't think they were gonna repress um or reissue um the black parade or three, three cheers for sweet revenge so so i got it because i thought i was like i want their songs on vinyl and i know all of their songs and yeah i mean it's just a great throwback um but yeah that's the reason i got it i don't regret getting it i I will show you later what other one I have of them. Um, I I love the artwork. Like this is my favorite like um, album cover. I mean album final cover. Um, and the center piece is really really cool. Um, it's all their caskets. Um, it's a little torn from here because I like ripped it. And it has a, it had a, like a DVD thing and like a armband that nobody's gonna wear, but that's cool. Um, yeah, so I have this one. I listen to it quite often, actually. It's like probably like my top play, just because I have it all in one. Um, so oh, and this one's um, actually, yeah, it's two as well. Um, so yeah, so that's that. Um, lastly, this is one of my favorite bands um and easily top three like easily um but um yeah i got this album off of oh so the other one my couple months i got it off amazon um and then this one i got it um from ebay from a seller um i think he's from canada i don't know um but yeah so i was like i need to get it before the price of it goes up and I have no idea how I'm gonna get it. So I got um, Brand New's uh, Your Favorite Weapon. Um, I love this band a lot. Uh, this is not my favorite album, 
but it's one of my favorite albums from them. Um, actually, well, they have four, and I like, I love three of them. Uh, so, yeah, but um, yeah, it was in great condition. It was new, uh, and it was twenty or thirty-five bucks. Um, I play this quite often, a lot. I think uh, Jesse Lacey is one of the greatest writers of music. Um, it's so cute. I, it's like their lyrics. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I enjoy Brand New quite a bit. Um, so yeah. Um, so those are like my seven records that I have um, that I have pulled out today. Um, so just let me know what are your favorite records and I guess I tag anybody who wants to do this tag thing tag I guess you call it um, yeah I don't know what to say but um, yeah I'll probably make an another video if it all goes well I sometimes don't have time but I really wanted to make one because I saw a lot of people making one and now it's just like oh some of I have some of the records or like Ooh, they like some of the music I like, and just like, you yeah. um, know. I think it's pretty neat. I've been discussing this with a lot of people, and just how uh, we grew up in a generation where digital music, uh, well, I guess you could say, like, promoted, but yet devalued what the value of music was. And um, I feel like vinyls are bringing that back in a sense because you can have something physical to enjoy I guess and call music apart from just something so disposable um but yeah so just um let me know what you think I guess um and yeah okay thank you